Today I'm going to show you how to make this lanyard. First step is to cut out two pieces of tape that are 10 inches long. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip one over. And then you're going to take the other one. And you're going to basically make a sheet out of these pieces of tape here. Hopefully you got no air bubbles in it or anything. Or if you have some white stuff at the end like I do a little bit here, you can just cut it right off. But it's not a big deal. Now that you have your 10 inch sheet piece, what you are going to do is you are going to take it and you are going to cut it into half. You can either use scissors or you can use an X-Acto knife. I just have an X-Acto knife on me. So try to cut as straight as possible. And now you have your two 10 inch pieces. When you have two 10 inch pieces, you are now going to repeat the process and make two more by again, cutting out a 10 inch piece and then cutting out another 10 inch piece, making a sheet out of it and then cutting it in half. Now that we have created all our four pieces that we need, what you need to do is um, cut some pieces that are just big enough just to wrap around the piece and you're going to take your pieces and basically just match them up and tape them around and then just repeat this until all of them are attached together. Just like that. Lanyard, I've only connected three together because that is big enough for me but if you need the fourth one just go ahead and attach that one. Now what we're going to do is create the actual shape of the lanyard and we are going to do like this. At the end we're going to have the, the cross at the very bottom and you're going to want to Take a piece of tape that you have. It doesn't have to be like a super like big cross, like over like this. It just just be slightly over. It'd be much easier to tape to. Just take it up. Tape around. If your piece of tape doesn't make it all the way around, just just take another piece of tape. Go over it like so. it over and now you got your basic shape of your lanyard and to get this cross off just take your exacto knife and cut it off or if you have a pair of scissors which will probably work better you can just do that it's a little hard to get through but you guys get the idea you have a good lanyard you can attach it to like an ID holder or something all you do have to do is take a piece of tape and just stick it under there and it will stay. Or if you're like a pin collector, you can just put your pins on your lanyard as you would like. As always, thank you guys for watching and happy duct taping.